Hello and welcome to Great Learning. In this video, we'll be explaining the different aspects of NLP, or Natural Language Processing, what it means, the applications of NLP, the various techniques involved in NLP, and what the future holds. So, let us begin. Have you ever used any personal assistants like Siri, Google Assistant, or Alexa? Or language translation applications like Google Translate? If yes, then you've already experienced natural language processing. But what exactly is this and how does it work? What is NLP? NLP is a subfield of artificial intelligence that is concerned with the interaction between computer and human languages and how to program a computer to process and analyze large amounts of data. We as humans are able to communicate with each other through some form of text or speech. But for interaction to take place between a computer and a human, the computer will have to understand natural human languages. Hence, the process of making a computer learn, process, and manipulate human language is known as natural language processing. NLP Applications NLP can be very useful to us in numerous ways. Some of the uses are Google Translate, a language translation application that makes use of NLP and helps translate one language to another. Sentiment Analysis The goal of sentiment analysis is to identify sentiments among several social media posts or even in a post where emotion is not always explicitly expressed. Companies use natural language processing to understand what customers think about their products and services. Google Assistant, Siri, Cortana, and Alexa, which are personal assistant applications, also make use of NLP. They interpret human voice, understands the human's intent, and caters to their needs accordingly. NLP Techniques now, since you have a brief idea about what natural language processing means and where it is being used, we can take a look at the different techniques involved in this process. Syntactic analysis and semantic analysis are the two main categories under NLP. But first, let's understand syntactic analysis or syntax. Syntax refers to the arrangement of words in a sentence in some particular order so that they make grammatical sense. Syntactic analysis is used to assess how natural language aligns with grammatical rules. The aim is to derive a meaning from the group of words. For example, the sentence like cold soup would be rejected by semantic analyzer. There are seven techniques under syntactic analysis. Let's discuss what these seven techniques are and what they mean. 1. The first one is called lemmatization. Lemmatization is the process of grouping together the different inflected forms of a word so they can be analyzed as a single item. For example, if a machine were to analyze three words, intelligence, intelligent, intelligently, it would derive the root form of these terms as intelligent. Two, the second syntax technique is known as morphological segmentation. Morphological segmentation involves dividing words into individual units called morphemes. For example, availabilities could be broken down into avail plus able plus itty plus ease. Where avail is the verbal root, able is the derivative suffix, which turns verb into adjective, itty is a derivative suffix, which transforms adjective to noun, s, which is a nominative plural. 3. The third technique is known as word segmentation. Word segmentation is the process of dividing a string of written language into its component words. In English and many other languages using some form of Latin alphabet, Space is a good approximation of a word divider. For example, Adam wants to eat an apple. The machine will segment each word into different words. Adam wants to eat an apple. 4. The fourth technique is called part of speech tagging. And this involves determining the different part of speech for each word. Many words, especially common ones, can serve as multiple parts of speech. For example, in the sentence, give me your answer, answer is a noun. But in the sentence, answer the question, answer is a verb. And some languages have more ambiguity than the other, and hence, figuring out the different part of speech is very important. Parts of speech tagging involves tagging all the words with verb, noun, adjective, etc. to recognize the context of the sentence. 5. The fifth technique is known as parsing. Parsing involves undertaking grammatical analysis for any provided sentence. The grammar for natural languages is ambiguous and certain sentences might have various different analysis. There are two types of parsing, dependency parsing and constituency parsing. Dependency parsing focuses on the relationship between words in a sentence, whereas constituency parsing 
focuses on building the parse tree or grammatical analysis. 6. If you've ever been given a large paragraph of text, you know that the best way to analyze it is by splitting the text into sentences. This technique is known as sentence splitting and refers to finding the sentence boundaries, which are often denoted by periods or punctuation marks. It can be tricky, though, since periods and punctuation might be used in different contexts. So if we have a combination of sentences like, it was time to harvest the crops, it was peak summer, but Mr. Adam was facing an issue getting the right manpower to do the job. Here we need to break the sentences by using period as a breaker. Although Mr. Adam also contains a period, contextually it should not consider it. 7. Stemming is the process of obtaining the root word from the word given. Using efficient and well-generalized rules, all tokens can be cut down to obtain the root word, also known as the stem. For example, go will be the root word for going, goes, and gone, though it is not as efficient as lemmatization. This brings us to the end of the first category, syntactic analysis. Now, let's talk about the second category, which is known as semantics. In semantics, computer algorithms are applied in order to understand the meaning and interpretation of words and sentence structure. There are mainly three techniques used under semantics. They are A. Named Entity Recognition, or NER B. Word Sense Disambiguation C. Natural Language Generation What do these techniques mean? A. Named Entity Recognition, or NER, refers to recognizing parts of a text that can be identified and categorized into preset groups. For example, name of a person or name of a place this is important because in certain languages, capitalization is not used and hence cannot be the distinguishing feature between what a name or place is. B. The second technique, as stated earlier, is called word sense disambiguation. This means giving meaning to a word based on its context. For example, the current prime minister of India travels to the U.S. to peace regime. Adam's clothes were swayed away by the river current. Here, the meaning of current is different based on the context of the sentence. C. The third and final technique is known as natural language generation, and it uses databases to derive semantic intentions and convert them into human language. It can be used in written analysis for business intelligence dashboards, reporting on business data, data analysis, personalized customer communications via email, and in-app messaging. This brings us to the end of the various categories of NLP and a brief explanation of what each category and technique means. The future of natural language processing is very promising. As per a report published in 2017, it was estimated that in 2025, the NLP market, including hardware, applications, and services, would be around $22.3 billion. The same report also stated that the AI-enabled NLP software market will rise from $136 million in 2016 to $5.4 billion in 2025. Isn't that amazing? There's a massive scope for this particular market to grow, and that means right now would be the best time to learn more and keep yourself updated. We hope you like this brief introduction to what natural language processing is and how it will progress in the future. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel and stay updated for more videos coming soon.